Kanata, go out with me. No way! Uh... Why not? What's wrong with me? Everything! I'm Kanata, I'm in 10th grade. And the blonde girl who just asked me out, her name was Reina. We were childhood friends, but as you can see, she was a bad girl. Why not, Kanata? We go way back. Uh, because you scare me? But when we were kids, I always protected you. But you also scared off all my friends. I... I just wanted you all to myself. Sorry, Reina. I'm a wimp. I can't go out with someone like you. What? We can still be friends, but please don't talk to me at school anymore. Okay, bye. Sorry. Kanata! Kanata! Uh, I kind of feel bad, but she scares me. I can never go out with her. No way. But she sounded really angry. <laughs> Maybe I should have just said yes. But dating Reina? I don't know. Kanata! Ah! No way! No way! I'm sorry, Reina. Reina isn't here today? Hey, you. Huh? Ah! So, you turned down Reina, huh? Who do you think you are, loser? Ah! But I was scared! Scared of what? Reina is an angel! They call her the Angel of Violence! Well, that's what they call her on the motorcycle gang. You're coming with me. Hurry up! Yeah, she's a really sweet girl once you get to know her. Get up! You're not ruining Reina's first crush! Hurry, Hurry up. up! I guess I really care about her, but still, they scare me. Hurry up! Huh? Huh? Hey, you! Move it! Kanata. Huh? Morning. Wait, Reina? What? Why do you all look so surprised? Why do you think? Look at you! Reina, what the hell? What the hell happened to you? Huh? Uh, not sure what you're talking about. I'm just being me. Wait, I said she scared me, so she became a nerd overnight? What the hell? Come on, class is starting. Let's sit down. Uh, that doesn't sound like her. Lunch. Kanata, let's eat lunch together. Come on. Uh, okay. Here, I made you lunch. Oh, thanks. What is this? Vegetables. They're all good for you. Huh? Reina, stop! We're not used to eating vegetables. You're gonna throw up. Shut up. I'm fine. I love vegetables. I'm a nerd. Uh, what does it have to do with anything? Oh, uh, what now? Uh, my nails. I want to paint them. Uh, what's stopping you? I can't. I'm a nerd. I told you. What are you talking about? On our way home. <laughs> so, Kanata, what do you think? Are you okay, Reina? You look exhausted. Shut up! If this is what it takes to go out with you, then so be it! Uh, I mean, she doesn't scare me anymore, but I'm starting to get worried. A few hours earlier... <laughs> Reina chased because of you. You better not disappoint her! Take good care of her! <laughs> uh, so I'm supposed to go out with her now? Hey, kid! Huh? Hey, man, look, we dropped that wallet. Could you lend us some cash? What? Hey, you, stop that! Uh, no, wait, I can't fight. I'm supposed to be a nerd. Hey, she's actually pretty cute! Huh? You're right. Give her a little makeover and she'll be really hot. Come on, forget this loser. Come hang out with us. What? Stop. Stop it! Kanata! Get your hands off of her! Look at him, he's shaking! Back off, loser! Huh? You little... Stay away from Kanata, you piece of shit! Ah! No signal. Sorry for the inconvenience. Censored! Now I remember why I'm scared of her. Many years ago. <laughs> Who did this to Kanata? <laughs> Run! Run! Don't ever do this again or else! She was just protecting me. 
but I... <sighs> Don't ever mess with Kanata again! Ah! Kanata, you okay? Oh, crap. Kanata, look! It's not what it looks like! This was self-defense! This isn't me! Huh? What the... I'm sorry, Raina. You were just trying to protect me because I'm a wimp, but I said all those mean things to you. Uh, uh, uh. But it's okay now. You're a really kind-hearted person. I realize that now. And if you want to change, I hope you. So, um, will you go out with me? Uh, yes. And so, we started dating. A few days later, during lunch, and why are you all here? You got a problem? Yeah, she's orphaned too. We miss her, okay? There, I said it. Just ignore them. They're nice people once you get to know them, you know. I wish they'd leave me alone when I'm eating lunch with him. Kanata, you've been eating a lot lately. Yeah, I'm trying to get bigger so I can protect Reina. Kanata, you don't have to worry about that, okay? If you become tough, I won't be able to protect you. Huh? What? Nothing? Rhina went back to being a bad girl after that. She still scared me a little, but... <laughs> Thanks, Rhina. Love you. What? Shut up! Not in front of my friends! Deep down, I knew she was a sweet, kind-hearted girl. My name is Toshio, 17 years old in 11th grade. I've always had a petite frame, and since I was never good at fitting in, I'm in the stay-at-home club. I usually spend time reading romance novels alone in the classroom. What I consider fun is taking the long route after school to the bookstore. I favor a place that's almost 30 minutes by foot from the nearest station, and even though it's a really small store, it's a hole-in-the-wall spot with a great selection of manga and romance novels. I think I'll go today, too. That day, in order to meet some new bestsellers, I once again headed towards the bookstore after school. First, I went to look at new releases, and as I was pursuing the stacks... What? Why can't I buy it? At the register was a young girl around elementary school age, who was arguing with the man behind the register. Like I said, I've tried to explain this to you many times. This isn't enough money to buy this. Not enough? How many more yen? It's 400 yen. <laughs> But I don't have such a large amount of money! That's all I have! That's all of my allowance! I had my back turned for a while, but the more I heard the little girl being upset, I couldn't just continue to be a bystander to her tears. Um, is something the matter? Ah, oh, sorry for the disturbance. This girl is just... I, I came here to buy a book, but this man says it's not enough money. <laughs> On the countertop, there is a picture book and a pile of coins, mostly in tens. I see. Even at first glance, it's obvious that it wasn't enough money. It seems like she wants this book no matter what. It's awkward. And it's not like you're here with your mother or anything, right? Yeah. My sister had promised me that she would come with me after school, but it's just me. Because... You see, I've been so excited about it, and I couldn't wait to read it. For example, if there was a romance novel that I was excited about for months, and I went to the store on the release date, and even though it was right in front of me, I wasn't able to buy it. I tried to put myself in her shoes, and I was so overwhelmed with empathy that, without saying anything, I placed a 500 yen coin on the counter. This will be enough, right? Yes, that's enough, but sir, are you sure you're okay with it? The pain of not being able to read a book that you really want to read, it almost hurts how much I understand. Brother? Good reading! I felt pride from such a meager act of having helped someone. I left the bookstore in a strange mood. I immediately realized I didn't even get the romance novel I wanted, but it was too embarrassing to go back. <laughs> I'll just come back tomorrow. And so I hobbled home. The thing that from this moment, a romance flag had already been lifted and was way beyond my imagination. The next day after school, I went back to the bookstore for revenge on my own book. 
Today, I'll actually buy it. I got myself pumped and tried to go into the store. When at that moment, I heard a voice from behind me. Um, excuse me. Me? Yes, of course you. The voice belonged to a figure fitting of being called a beautiful young girl in regular clothes, but maybe around my age, around high school. I don't even have that many friends to begin with and couldn't possibly think of a reason why a girl so cute would be speaking to me, so I was sure that she had the wrong person. Thank you so much for yesterday. Yesterday? I'm sorry, but um, where exactly? What? Did you forget already? It's me, you know? The girl you helped at the bookstore yesterday? Please, let me repay the favor to you. Says a girl with her chest out. I mean, little girl? The more I think about it, I guess maybe there is some kind of resemblance. And suddenly, this self-proclaimed little girl suddenly took my hands and squeezed them. I can't thank you enough, so please, let me repay the favor to you. To have a beautiful young girl squeeze your hands for a shy guy like me is a surprise that would make my heart jump out of my chest. But on her side, she seemed to have doubts about it, if anything. She looked so happy as she held my hands and kept squeezing them. There was really no need to repay favor for something as small as 500 yen, but she seemed so serious about it. Is there anything you would like for me to do? She said fully ready to go. No matter how much I told her not to worry about it. Please, let me repay the favor. She kept insisting. She kept repeating, repay the favor, repay the favor, and little by little, she began to look like a crane to me. Speaking of, how does that fable, the grateful crane, go again? A young man saves a crane, and then the crane shows up in human form at his house and asks to stay at his house. And then, I think they get married. M married? Wait a second. I have a feeling the main character might have been an old man. Well, either way, it doesn't really matter. Um, you're shaking a lot. But are you okay? I, I see. Marriage to repay the favor. I wasn't hoping for the... I mean, I feel like that's way too sudden, but for now, I guess we should start by getting to know each other first. Please come with me. Where are you taking me? To my house. Your house? I was taken to a beautiful girl's house upon my first time meeting her, and I was in the middle of waiting in her room. Okay, listen, I'm going to go get some drinks, but no matter what, please do not open the door. She says as she jogs my memory even more, as if exactly like that old fable. Uh, yes? There was a knock on the door and I instinctively reacted, but the door didn't seem to be opening at all, and eventually there was another knock. Since she had said she was gonna get drinks, I thought that maybe both of her hands were full, and so I betrayed her request to please don't open the door. As I opened it... Suddenly, the young girl from yesterday jumped into my arms, followed immediately by... Ah, I told you not to open it! Self-proclaimed young girl jumped in. Hey, stop that right now! You're making me jealous. I mean, you're making him uncomfortable, so get away from him now! Nah, he's not uncomfortable at all, right, brother? Listen to your sister! I had pretty much figured out the situation already, but just in case, I confirmed it with words. Um, so does that mean you two are sisters? Yep! I see, no wonder the resemblance since they're sisters, and she wanted to repay the favor for helping her younger sister, so she invited me to her house. But even then, there are a lot of mysterious points. Why would she pretend to be her younger sister and complicate things? And so I asked. Well... You see, my sister is unfair! I was the first one to say you were handsome, but then my sister fell in love at first sight and tried to get ahead of- That's enough! Love at first sight? Someone like me, a shadow character with an obsession of romance novels, love at first sight, but more than that, I remember meeting the younger sister and having an interaction with her, but I'm pretty sure I only just met the older sister for the first time a little while ago. The timeline doesn't seem right. Well, actually, when I went to go get my younger sister from the bookstore, 
I saw you leaving the store at the same time. At that moment, my heart skipped a beat. But, but me in that moment? I was having a roller coaster of feelings. And I don't think I was attractive in any way. If anything, I feel like I was gross. It was absolutely not gross! Um, I... Ever since I was little, my type has always been guys that are a failure. Like tired, single, middle-aged salary men or unemployed high school grads. <laughs> I guess I have a thing for guys that I can take care of and protect. So, please go out with me! No matter how much you fail in life in the future, actually, no, the more you fail, the more I will spoil you! Me too, me too! I'm going to go out with brother too! Feeling a sense of popularity for the first time in my life, I was scared by the sister's passion and tried to escape by saying, please let me think about it overnight. We, we won't, won't let, let you go, go until, until you choose, choose one of us! us. They said as I was completely held captive by them. I'm Takuya. I used to be a loner back in middle school, but I got a complete makeover when I started high school. I borrowed fashion magazines from my sister and did some research. I had 20-20 vision, but I started wearing glasses to look hip. And it worked! Takuya, come eat with us! We're going to karaoke after school. Want to join us? I was able to make a lot of new friends. I was no longer a loser. <laughs> yes, it worked. I think I'm going to start crying. I had no idea school could be so much fun. I was so happy. But one day... Huh? Where is everyone? What are you doing? You're in the wrong classroom. Oh, right. I was looking at the wrong schedule. <laughs> Thanks. Hold up. Huh? Here, take my stuff with you. Uh, why? I'm letting you help me. You should be grateful. Come on, errand boy. Hurry up. Her name was Alyssa Sakinomia. Her family was super rich, and for some reason, she treated me like a servant. Why, you ask? Because you wear glasses. If you wear glasses, you're a nerd, which means I'm better than you. So you should be grateful that I'm even talking to you. This is me being nice to you. Remember that. What on earth is she talking about? I didn't want to be her errand boy, but she ran things around here. If I say no, who knows what she'll do to me. I didn't want any trouble, so I decided to obey her. I'm thirsty. Go get me something to drink. Uh, but class is about to start. See? The bell? Hurry up! Ah! I didn't really have a choice. I feel like I'm her butler or something. Takuya! Look what I got! Wear this! You'll be my butler from now on. What? No! Hey! I filled up the bathtub! Wanna join me? Come on, you know you want to! No. Ugh, you're so lame! Whatever. Screw you! Leave me alone! Oh, my sister is so annoying. I started reading some comic books in my bed. Then my phone rang. It was a phone call. Oh, who could it be? It was her. Damn it! Uh, hello? Why did it take you so long to pick up? She was so loud. Keep your phone near you at all times, got it? She was louder than my sister. Fine, fine, what do you want? Tomorrow morning at 10. Meet me in front of the school. But tomorrow is Saturday. We didn't even have school. I'm going shopping. I need someone to carry my stuff. Oh, uh, I'm busy tomorrow. If you refuse, everyone at school will ignore you from now on. You okay with that? No. She was probably bluffing, but I couldn't risk it. Okay then, see you tomorrow. What? Wait, I... Ugh, this sucks. I was powerless over her. My weekend was ruined. Ugh. Why are you in such a bad mood? Stop that. I'm not... It's just that... Uh, this is my hometown. I grew up here and... I hope nobody sees me. What are you talking about? Look, that looks like fun. Let's go check it out. Huh? Wait! I've never been to an arcade before. Ooh, what's that? Looks fun! You said you wanted to go shopping! What are we doing here? Let's go! No! 
But the bad kids hang out here. What if they start something? Come on, let's just go. You scared? Huh? You're scared of the bad kids? Oh, you're such a wimp, Takuya. What? No, I'm not scared, but... Hey, what do we have here? Uh, speak of the devil, damn it. Hey, Four Eyes, who's your girlfriend? Look, I don't want any trouble. We're leaving. Ah, we want to talk to the girl. Get out of here, loser. But leave your wallet. <laughs> hey, what's your problem? Alyssa yelled at him. She was so brave. Apologize to him right now or else. Or else what? What are you going to do about it, huh? Ouch! Let me go! Ugh, I wanted to run away, but I just couldn't do it. I had to help her. All right, that's enough, guys. Huh? Get away from her right now. Don't make me hurt you. <laughs> Stop trying to act tough, loser! Wait, what the? I've seen you before! <clears throat> Back in middle school, I was a bad boy. I was pretty famous around here. All I did was fight. I didn't have a single friend. I wanted to change that. That's why I decided to get a makeover. Okay, all done. You used to be a bad boy? I had no idea. Yeah, but that was the old me. Don't tell anybody about this. Uh, I walked her home after that. Why do you look so upset? Let me cheer you up! Takuya! 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 <sighs> I was really worried. What if Alyssa tells everyone about my past? I couldn't sleep. My life is over. Morning. You're amazing. Huh? I, I mean, nothing. Here, this is for you. Take it. She didn't tell anyone. And for some reason, she started making me lunch every day. You had me fooled with those glasses. But don't take them off. But when we're alone, you can take it off if you want. Actually, I insist that you take it off. I'm glad she didn't tell anyone about my past, but things between us got kind of weird after that. <laughs> oh well. It was 6.30 a.m. The bus was going to be here any minute, but my childhood friend Yuri was still not here. <laughs> She's late. Oh, a text! Huh. She texted me saying she was sick. I've known her since we were little kids. She always kept to herself. She was always reading by herself at school. She was a nice person, though. Everyone liked her. But her immune system was kind of weak. She was always getting sick. I always went to see her whenever she got sick. I got a crush on her, so... I told her I'd go see her after school. A few minutes later, the bus arrived. After school, I headed over to her house, and... Just as I was about to ring the doorbell, the door opened. It was Saori, Yuri's mom. Oh, hi! Oh, Shinji! You're here to see Yuri? Uh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Come on in. Thanks. She let me in, but she turned around and said, Sorry, I gotta head out, but make yourself at home. Oh, are you sure? I can come back if you want. No, it's fine. She's upstairs. Then she left. She was always nice to me like this, but I don't know. I think she should be more careful. Whatever. I guess she trusts me. I headed upstairs to her room. I knocked on the door. Mom? No, it's me. Shinji? Can I come in? Uh, okay. I opened the door. Her face was still red. Looks like she still has a fever. How are you feeling? Uh, here, I, I, I brought you some homework. Where's mom? Oh, she went out. Oh, um, hey. What? I'm hungry. Huh? Something felt off. Uh, is she okay? She never spoke like that. She sounded like a child. <laughs> Strange. Uh, Yuri? What? You're okay. You seem, uh, different. Huh? I'm fine. Oh. Maybe it's a fever. She's acting like a kid. Yuri got out of bed. Then she sat in front of me and said, Shinji, there's some pudding in the fridge. Can you bring me one? Huh? Pudding? Uh, okay. I'll be right back. My heart is pounding. She's never smiled at me like that. I didn't know she was so pretty. When I got back, her eyes were closed. I thought she was asleep, but then she opened her eyes and said, Feed me. She opened her mouth. Huh? What are you, a kid? Yep. 
Come on, feed me. Stop that! I started blushing. I put my hand on her forehead. Hmm, looks like you still have a fever. Ouch, stop! It's just a cold. Eat it yourself. Here. You're lame. She stuck her tongue out on me. <laughs> She's so cute. What's up with her today? My heart was pounding really fast. Then she came next to me. Uh, Yuri? Rap, rap. <laughs> hey, not so close. What's wrong with you today? Meow. I'm a kitty cat. Meow. <laughs> she put a hoodie up and started acting like a cat. <laughs> so cute. I was starting to lose my mind. Then, she hugged me. What the? Yuri, stop that. Why? Well, because... <sighs> you okay? Um, I'm getting sleepy. You gotta rest. Come on, go to sleep. Carry me to my bed then. What, carry you? Yes, carry me. What? No, I, I can't. Why not? Well, I mean, we're not even dating, so... So, if we're dating, you'd carry me? Uh, I guess, but... Then, go out with me. Huh? What? You don't wanna? What? No, that's not what I mean. You don't like me? No, but look, you're not thinking straight. This is your fever talking. You're right. I'm burning up. But I mean what I said. What? Shinji, I like you. Go out with me. What? I, I like you too. Uh, look, let's talk about this some other time. <laughs> huh? When you feel better, we'll talk about this again. If you still want to hang out with me then, then I'm all yours, okay? I didn't even know what I was saying anymore. Yuri was acting so weird and it was making me act weird too. You mean it? Promise? Yeah, I promise. I said to her. Then, a few moments later... Ah, <sighs> uh, finally! I carried her to her bed and waited for her mother to come home. The next morning at the bus stop... Morning. Hey, are you feeling better? Yeah. I felt a bit awkward, but she looked pretty normal. It was business as usual for her. Well, that's a relief. You came over yesterday. I don't really remember, though. I was pretty dizzy. Sorry. Oh, right, right. We had some homework, so, yeah. Thanks. You were acting really weird yesterday. Really? She took out her phone and started texting someone. Ah, but then my phone rang. What the? Ah, Yuri, what is this? You gotta carry me too. What? Here? Here, just grab my hand for now. I grabbed her hand and got on the bus. I was never good with girls. But I think my time has finally come. For some reason, this girl started hitting on me. Are you a freshman? What? Uh, yeah. What's your name? Shinji. Shinji Aoyama. I'm Kasumi. Kasumi Kurata. So, your name is Shinji, huh? Cool. See you around. One day, this really pretty girl from 12th grade came and talked to me. Ever since then, Kasumi waved to me whenever she saw me at school. And she talked to me every chance she got. She was so pretty. She had a cute smile. Then, one day after school... Shinji, let's walk home together. She asked me to walk her home. I've never walked a girl home before. And she was so cute. I was so nervous. Not sure why she liked me, but I didn't even care. I was at the top of my world. She's so pretty. <laughs> this is awesome! Hey, Shinji. Uh, yes? Can I hold your hand? Huh? My hand? Uh, sure, but uh, you sure? I wiped the sweat off my hands with my shirt. Kasumi started giggling. Then she grabbed my hand. Her hands were so soft and warm. Is this happening for real? She likes me! I was really excited about this. Shinji, walk me home. After that, she asked me to walk her home every day. We held hands all the time now. I was pretty nervous at first, but I got used to it. But then... Hey, Shinji. Can I wrap my arm around yours? Huh? Uh, sure. Shinji, carry me! Hey! Shinji, can you carry me on your shoulders? What? I can't do that! She was getting really touchy. 
She's so cute. I'm losing it here. But we're not really dating yet. I decided to ask her out. She's like a cat. So cute. One day we're at the park chilling. Hey, um... Yes? I... I want to spend more time with you. Shinji? So, um... Will you be my girlfriend? Uh-huh. She seemed really surprised. She got up and turned towards me. Her face was right in front of me. This is my chance! Kiss her! I was pretty sure she wanted me to kiss her. So I grabbed her shoulders and brought her closer. But then... Ah! She punched me in the face! Oh no, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. No, it's fine. That was inappropriate. <laughs> I said to her, but... What the hell? She was all over me. Why did she punch me in the face? I thought she liked me. Was she messing with me this whole time? I was freaking out. I just wanted to cry. Oh, look. I like you too, Shinji. But not like that. I don't even know what it's like to like someone like that. But then, why did you start hanging out with me? Um, it was your smell. Huh? When you walked past me in the hallway, I noticed your smell. Wait, I smell? No, not like that. You smell just like my dad. Your dad? When I went to kindergarten, my parents got a divorce. Mom threw out all of his pictures, so I don't really remember his face. But I still remember his smell, and... Wait, I smell like an old man? No, <laughs> it's a nice smell. Oh, okay. When I'm around you, I feel like I'm a little kid again. I feel like I'm with my dad. I see. Not sure why they split up. One day, Mom just left, and she took me with her. I didn't even get to say goodbye to him. You can go see him? I don't want to upset my mom. I tried to go see him once without telling her, but I couldn't. Why? I got scared. Like, what if he doesn't want to see me, you know? She seemed sad. She didn't like me. I thought she was all over me, but I was wrong. She just saw her father in me, that's all. Shinji, I didn't mean to mislead you like this, but I'm sorry. I can't go out with you. I see. But hey, you shouldn't be so touchy with guys like that. Don't get the wrong idea. What if they attack you? Gotta be more careful. You're right. I'm sorry. She seemed so sad, so I said to her, Let's go see him. Come on, let's go see your father. What? The weekend, we headed to her hometown. Her old home was no longer there. So we asked the neighbors about her father's whereabouts. She was probably traumatized by the divorce. She probably felt unloved. That's why she was so touchy with me. So even if she gives up on me, she'll end up doing the same thing with another guy who has a similar smell. I'm not sure this is the right thing to do, but it was the only thing I could think of. Then a few hours later, we finally tracked him down. Is this it? I think so. She rang the doorbell. Her hand was shaking. A few moments later, a middle-aged man came out. Um, I... Kasumi, is that you? Dad! Kasumi, oh baby, I'm so sorry about everything! They hugged each other and started crying. Looks like they really missed each other. One week later, you know, walking home by myself sucks. Shinji! Someone called my name. It was Kasumi. Hey, thanks for the other day. It's your thing. Glad everything worked out. Yeah, but I decided that I'm not going to tell my mom about it. Sounds good. You only met him once anyways. Well, I gotta go, so see ya. Wait, um, wanna walk me home? Huh? But you said you didn't like me. Well, the thing is, after I met my dad... She started blushing, then she started sniffing me. I realized something. You don't smell like my dad. Huh? Then she whispered to me. I think I just liked the way you smell. In other words, I think I like you. What do you think? What? So, um, will you walk me home? So, this was all a misunderstanding? She likes me? For real? Uh, alright. I'm Kanata. I'm a pretty normal second year high schooler. 
I don't have many friends, but I have enough who also like anime and manga like me. And in my own way, I think I live a pretty good life. Today, I had just gone down to some bookstores with some friends from my class. Got a lot of the books that I wanted. Glad that even the ones that are usually sold out were there too. It's gonna be reading time as soon as I get home. <laughs> I was in this excited mood when I got home, but something happened that kicked reading time straight to the curb. Uh, you, you are... Uh... For some reason, my classmate Yuri was in my house. In my grade, I mean in my school, she's known to be the prettiest girl. And rumor has it that a lot of guys propose to her. However, because her personality is pretty tense, I also hear rumors that she can make you her enemy with just her eyes. Um, why are you, Yuri-san, in my house? Perfect timing! Yuri-chan just got here too! Here's the thing, your dad and Yuri's parents all work in the same company, but because both of their work has gotten really busy, in the meantime, we're going to be looking after Yuri. What? I was shocked into silence for a second, but nervously asked, Um, do you know how long she'll be here for? Three months. Th three months? And what? Is that a problem? Uh, not a problem, no. But you probably don't want to live with a boy your age either, do you? I don't care. She turned her back and went up the stairs. Living with my own classmate for three months in the same house, it was straight out of an anime or even a manga. But even then, I couldn't get on board. Yes? It's me. I'm coming in. Y yuri son? Since we're going to be living for three months together... There are a few things I want to be careful about. Um, yeah, sure. So, what do you want me to be careful about? First of all, when we go to school in the morning, we're not going to leave the house at the same time. You can leave a few minutes after me. Okay. Second, starting tomorrow, you're going to eat your lunch outside of the classroom. What? Why? <sighs> you can't even figure that one out. Really? Your mom is going to be making both of our lunches now. It's going to be suspicious if we're eating the exact same lunch in the classroom. Yeah, but that shouldn't mean I have to eat outside. Where should I even eat? Hmm, true. What about the toilets? What? Is there anything else you want to say? I don't mind listening. Nothing. No, nothing at all. And so she went into even more detail about the things I needed to be careful about. I didn't know what she would do if I went against her, so I just followed along. Whether it was because of that or not, none of our classmates had any clue about our situation. It's been two weeks since Yuri came to our house. This is taking a toll. Uh, yes? Yuri-san is so late, what's wrong? It was well past midnight. I thought she was gonna push another request onto me, but her face seemed concerned. In both arms, she was squeezing a bunny stuffed animal. And something seemed different? You're awake. I was just about to go to sleep. Hmm. Uh, um, is there something that you needed, or? Uh, if. if you laugh, I'll never forgive you. What? You saw a scary video on social media and now you can't sleep? W what? Is that so wrong? No, that's not what I'm saying. It's you and so unlike you. Well, I'm sorry then. Without hesitation, Yuri jumped onto my bed and laid down. Even I know this seems out of character for me. I'm scared of what I'm scared of. So what else am I supposed to do? It's fine. I'm going to sleep. Wait, what do you mean sleep? You're on my bed. You can go there. With her face burned into the pillow, she pointed towards the opposite side of the bed, underneath the bookcase. Good night. What do you mean, good night? Uh, I guess I don't have a choice. Thanks. Huh? Ever since then, I felt like she was a little bit nicer to me. She even started talking to me at school. Kanata, where are you going? Oh, Yuri. I'm just doing my daily work. Oh, yeah. Was today the day for that? How far are you carrying those things? To the staff room. If you ask me, I don't mind holding half for you. It's fine. I can carry this much by myself. Just give it to me, okay? Well, uh, thanks. Mm-hmm. Even at home, she started to communicate with me a lot more regularly. I didn't 
no boys mangas were this funny. <laughs> really? I didn't think you'd understand. That makes me happy. <laughs> okay, well, try reading this one next. It's been a hot topic lately, and they're saying it's a modern classic. And there are even rumors online that it might become an anime next year, and... Wait, uh, so sorry. I got a little carried away. That was gross, wasn't it? Not really. I knew you were a nerd from the beginning anyway. Doesn't change anything. I mean, what is it? Do you want to look cool in front of me or something? No, that's not what I was thinking at all! Are you sure? And you? What about you? What about me? Well, I mean, you also have gotten nicer these days. And it seems like you were trying to get me to like you too. <laughs> but I'm, I'm just kidding. Um... Y Yuri? You two stop flirting with each other. Dinner is ready. We, we weren't flirting! Tomorrow is finally the day that Yuri goes back home. I wonder if we'll go back to the way things were before these three months and never speak to each other. I don't like that, though. You don't like what? Yuri, what's wrong? At this time? Um, well, the thing is... Yuri kept a small distance and sat down in my room. In her hands was her favorite bunny stuffed animal. It reminded me of the first days when she arrived at our house. Did you see another scary video or something? <laughs> I forgot about that. So? Huh? Kanata, isn't there something you want to say to me? This is our last night. Um, yeah, there actually might be. If I don't say something before tomorrow morning comes, I'll probably regret it forever. Hey, Yuri! I... I like you, Yuri. So, I don't want to go back to the way things were before. I want to be next to you forever. Will you please go out with me? No. What? But, uh, that proposal did make my heart skip a little bit, so... The stuffed animal kissed me on the lips. If you're going to keep liking me, then maybe someday I'll give you a second shot. The next morning, Yuri's parents came to pick me up and they left her house, leaving me back to my former life. Yuri went back to her past life too, getting proposed to from multiple guys as usual. One year later... Yesterday too, this first year boy proposed to me. Apparently he's in the handball club. Cool. We had started leaving school together. Our relationship may have grown a little closer, but I still hadn't been given my second shot yet. Yuri was as popular as ever, and in these moments of just the two of us, would always be bragging. Um, hey, remember that second shot that we talked about that time? I was just wondering when I would get to take that? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Maybe not for a little while more. Because it's too fun making you jealous. Come on! <laughs> but I do feel a little bad. So, I should give you a reward for waiting so patiently, shouldn't I? Uh, Alright then. See you tomorrow, Kanata. The day for me to become the guy who got the unattainable girl still seemed to be a little far ahead. Yuri, you got a hundred on your math test? <laughs> yeah. You're smart, athletic, and pretty? It's not fair. Oh, stop it. I just got lucky. That's Yuri. She was a perfect student. She was one of the popular kids in class. I still can't believe you grew up with Kanata. Look at him. He's such a nerd. <laughs> I grew up with her, but I was a total loser. My only friend was the internet. I was good at looking things up online, but that was about it. I got an F. Can you tutor me, Yuri? I'm gonna take the makeup exam. What? Me too. Uh, sure. But I can't today. Can you wait until tomorrow? Of course! Thank, Thank you! you. Kanata, I need your help again! Ugh, why didn't you just say no? But wait, you got a hundred, right? The makeup test is pretty much the same thing. Why do you need my help? I memorized all that the night before. I forgot everything already. Uh, whatever. The thing is, Yuri wasn't a perfect student at all. She was pretty clumsy at everything. But when we were starting high school, she came up to me and said, Look, I'm tired of being the clumsy girl. 
I want to change things up in high school. I want to be popular. She was always the quiet type, so I was kind of surprised. I was pretty good at looking things up online, so I did a bunch of research on how to be popular, and it worked. She was one of the popular kids now. Explain this one to me. You really forgot everything? Just help me, Kanata. I was always hoping her out like this. It was a lot of work, but it came with its perks. For instance, my grades started to improve once I started tutoring her. And I enjoy spending time with her. Well, Yuri's out sick today. For real? That sucks. I miss her. I hope she's okay, Yuri. It's just a cold. Oh, it's from Yuri. I miss school. I want some pudding. One of those expensive ones. Mm, I better go check on her after school. I know! Well, I'm gonna go bring her some flowers or something. Then she might go out with me. <laughs> you wish, didn't you, Ia? Yoshinaga from the soccer team asked her out the other day. Wait, she made that really good looking guy? Yeah, but she dumped him. If she said no to him, you don't stand a chance. True. What? Someone asked her out? After classes were over, I bought some pudding and headed to Yuri's place. Pudding! You're all red. You okay? What are you doing? Not sure why, but she had a cabbage on her head. And she had a Welsh onion wrapped around her neck. You came just in time. I was trying all sorts of things to bring the fever down, but nothing's working. Oh. Then she took out her phone and said, I looked up cold remedies online, all by myself. Put a cabbage on your head and wrap a Welsh onion around your neck? These are all lies. But she's a really famous Instagrammer. She'd never lie like that. Do you feel better? No. <laughs> That's what I thought. I told her to put the vegetables away and told her to go back to bed. Then I looked up some articles online about cold remedies involving cabbage and Welsh onions. The nutrients found in these vegetables can in fact help with the cold, but it doesn't say anything about putting them on your head or wrapping them around your neck. See? And this is a paper written by a doctor, not some random Instagrammer. Uh... Idiot. <sighs> Want some pudding? Yes! Hey, uh, I heard some guys talking. Uh, is it true Yoshinaga asked you out? How did you know? Don't spill the pudding! Uh, some of the guys in class were talking. And why did you dump him? He's like the best looking guy in school. Uh, if we start dating, he'll find out that I'm actually clumsy. Huh? He doesn't know the real me. And if he found out, he'll probably dump me, so... Uh, I guess, but if you're worried about that, you'll never be able to date anyone. You said you wanted a boyfriend. That's why you wanted to be popular, right? Um... Yuri? She went silent for a while, then... I did it all for you. Huh? You've always been a nerd, and you're like the least popular kid in class, but... Huh? You don't make fun of me, and you're really nice. That's why I did all this. Because I like you. I wanted to be popular so I'd be worthy of you. Wait, hold on. Did you just ask me out? Uh, um, do I respond now? No, wait! I'm not ready yet! Don't say anything! And this isn't romantic enough. I want to do this by the ocean or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, okay. Not sure what she meant by that, but... Uh, you done with your pudding? Uh, yeah. Thanks. Okay, drink this then. Ugh. No, Kanata! You know I can't drink medicine! Yuck! It's better than cabbage or Welsh onions. Grow up already! Come on, if not... What are you doing with that? Let's see here. Hmm, this website says you should stick a Welsh onion up your butt. What? Gross! Stop kidding around! It's either that or the medicine. And if you don't take the medicine, I won't tell you how I feel about you. A few weeks later, we started dating. <laughs> she was so clumsy. But the thing is, I've always liked her too. I'm Shinji. I'm in 10th grade. Shinji, you're back. Play with us. 
Last year, they opened a nursery school right next to my house. The playground was right in front of my door, so I became friends with the kids there. Sorry, maybe some other time? Well, why not? I'm busy, okay? You're just gonna play video games, aren't you? You don't have a girlfriend, so you got nothing else to do, right? What? That's not true. Fine, I'll play with you. Let me just get changed. Yay! I always ended up playing with them. I enjoyed playing with them. And the teachers there always thanked me, so it was kind of nice. But then I got this job offer. One day when I was playing with the kids, this well-dressed man came and talked to me. Hello. Mr. Shinji, may I have a minute of your time? Oh, okay. Uh, I recognized him from somewhere. There was a big mansion across the street from me. I saw him going in and out of there a few times. Huh, maybe he worked there or something. My name is Matsura. I'm a butler. I work at the house across the street. There's something I'd like to ask you. Okay. The owner of the house, they're looking for someone who will become friends with her daughter. Your daughter? Yes. You're always playing with the kids at the nursery school, so we figured you're good with kids. Hmm? We're not asking you to do this for free, either. This is our offer. Well, what? For real? But uh, I'm just a kid in high school. I'm not a licensed babysitter or anything. No worries. We just want you to spend time with her. We could really use your help. Will you give it a try? A few days later. Welcome. After what he told me, <laughs> I couldn't say no. So as I said before, she hasn't left home in six months. Six months? Wow. Yes, she used to live abroad with her parents. They moved around a lot due to their work. But it put her under a lot of pressure. So they decided to send her back home for a while. But she hasn't been able to go outside. Please help her. Poor girl. She probably felt really lonely. Living abroad can't be easy, especially when you're a kid. I'm gonna do everything I can to help her. I was good with little kids, so I was pretty confident about this. The butler showed me to her room. But then when we opened the door... What that? This is Kazumi. She's 16, just like you. She's 16? And she's... so pretty. I mean, hold up, I thought she was a little kid. The first week will be your trial period. Good luck. What? Hey, wait! I tried to stop him, but he shut the door before I could say anything. Ugh, what now? I'm good with kids, but a girl my age? No way. That's why I'm still single. Slowly, I turned around. She was so pretty, but she didn't show a lot of emotion. Um, hi. Hi. So, you used to live abroad, huh? Where? UAE? Oh, I see. I hear it's nice out there. <laughs> um. So, uh, you like music? Who's your favorite singer? Sergei Prokofiev. Oh, okay, nice. I think I saw them on TV the other day. Uh. I don't know what to say to her. Then, one week later, I tried really hard, but I couldn't even hold a conversation with her. I wanted to help her out, but... Sorry, I don't think I can do this. I decided to quit after the trial period. A few days later... Shinji, you're not working today? Nah, I quit. It didn't work out. Oh, Shinji, cheer up. We'll play with you. Uh... Mr. Shinji! Uh, Mr. Matsura? Have you seen Kazumi? Huh? No, why? We can't find her! I thought she came to see you! What? Why me? When I told her that you quit, she seemed really upset, so... What? But I don't think she enjoyed having me around. Mm, she hasn't left home once. She might be lost. I'll go look for her. I went around town looking for her. I looked everywhere. She's probably lost. She must be scared out of her mind. Please be okay. I was really worried about her. I ran around town for hours. I stopped to catch my breath. Then, uh, I found her! She was crouching down on the side of the street. Kazumi! Shinji! Uh. I ran over to her, then I hugged her. 
I felt like a parent who just found their lost child. You're okay! Thank goodness! I'm sorry. I just really missed you, and I wanted to see you. Then she hugged me back. I'm sorry I quit. I thought you didn't like me. No, I was just really shy, and I know how hard you were trying. I'm sorry, too. But I really enjoyed spending time with you. Then she hugged me again. She was so adorable. There were so many things I wanted to say to her, but... Okay, uh, let's get you home first. Come on. I called Mr. Matsura and told him she was okay. You had me worried sick! I'm sorry. I told you Mr. Shinji quit. You have to move on. Oh, about that. Um, can I just be friends with her? You don't have to pay me or anything. Really? Oh, wonderful! Looks like your plan worked perfectly. Plan? The thing is, she had a crush on you this whole time. What? She watched you from her room. Her window is right there, so she can see everything. Matsura! But it's true. You seemed really nice, so I wanted to be friends with you. So I asked him to hire you, and... I'm sorry I lied to you. Oh, uh, it's fine. But I bet you were disappointed when you saw me in person. I'm not that good looking, and I'm pretty dumb, so... No! If anything, I like you even more now. What? She started to blush. Man, I had no idea she liked me. I wasn't expecting that. Shinji, you got a girlfriend now? Kiss her! Be quiet, you two. Ugh, kids. But they were right. A few weeks later, we started dating. She started feeling much better. But we didn't go out as much. We usually hung out in her room. Why? Shinji, hug me. Yeah, yeah. Because she acted like a little kid in front of me, it was kind of embarrassing, so... My guess is she couldn't do this as a kid. Honestly, she was a bit too old to be acting like this, but... If this is what she wants, then so be it. As her boyfriend, I'm gonna do everything I can for her. My name is Mei Sakurada. I'm in 11th grade. Summer vacation was right around the corner. Then one day, I know this is sudden, but I'm going on maternity leave from September. What? Oh, congrats! Who's gonna be our new teacher? We were all really excited for her. I'm gonna miss her, but can't wait to meet her baby. Then, things started to get busy. We decided to throw her a surprise party for her. We had a lot of planning to do, so we drew straws to decide on a leader. And... <laughs> but when you gave me back the book, it made me sad. I really enjoyed time with spending, with spending I really time enjoy with you. I... Boy. His name was Sota Moria. Hey. He was always reading by himself. He was always writing something in his notebook. It was kind of creepy, to be honest. <laughs> he sucks for you! <laughs> Good luck! What? No way. But it was too late. I had no choice. Does he even know what this is for? I decided to go talk to him. Um... Yes, who are you? Uh, I'm in your class. Sorry. I'm Mei Sakurada. Okay, what do you want? Our teacher? She's going on maternity leave soon, and, uh, we're planning a surprise party for her, and they put us in charge. Oh, why, though? I don't know. We just drew straws, so... Oh, so I don't really have a choice, do I? Nope. Come on. Let's get started. Okay. Why don't we... Uh, write her a letter? And get something for her baby. Okay. Uh... You got any ideas yourself? No, I don't know much about this kind of stuff. Okay. Let's go to the mall after school and find her a gift then. Okay. After school, I walked over to his desk. You ready to go? Oh, sorry. Give me a second. Ugh, fine. What the? You're trying to go to med school? Yeah. So that's why you're always reading stuff. Yeah, I gotta study a lot. But I don't think anyone from our school has ever got into med school. Yeah, but I'm sure I can do it if I study hard enough. Hmm, I see. 
What's the matter? Oh, uh, I actually wanted to become a pharmacist, but I kind of gave up on that. Why give up? You should at least try. Yeah. I'm studying medicine, too. I can tutor you if you want. Uh, really? Oh, thanks. I'll give it a try. So, I decided to pursue my dreams again. I wasn't expecting that. I was kind of glad I got paired up with him. He inspired me to keep trying. A few days later... Oh, she's gonna love that gift! Yeah, you pretty much did all the work for me, though. Thanks. <laughs> no problem. Uh, if you want, you want to use this? Really? Yeah, I finished it, so... You memorized all of this? Oh, <laughs> wow! You must be a genius! Nah, I just use a little trick to make it easier to memorize stuff. What? Can you teach me? Uh, sure, I guess. I thought he was just a bookworm, but I was wrong. He was a really kind person. He was such a good listener. I wanted to know more about him. But then, one day after classes... Hey! You've been spending a lot of time with Moria recently. Yeah. You two dating? What? No! <laughs> just kidding! But, uh, can you stop hanging out with him? I don't want to get his cooties. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. My friends told me to stop spending so much time with him. I felt terrible, but I couldn't say no. I didn't want them to kick me out of their circle. Thanks, but Moria didn't say anything. He probably doesn't care. Or maybe he hates me now. <laughs> doesn't matter. I'm a terrible person. And the thing is, I was starting to like him. The day of the surprise party. Thank you, everyone. Again, congratulations. Can't wait to see the baby. So, I guess it's over now. I looked over at him, but he didn't seem upset or anything. <sighs> Whatever. A few months later, summer vacation was over. I was still studying to become a pharmacist. Moria's tricks to memorize stuff came in really handy. I was doing pretty good. But I haven't talked to Moria in a while now. I'm gonna go buy a new textbook. Hmm, let's see. Ah, there it is. This one right here. You need a hand? Oh, thanks. Moria? Here. Then he walked away. Oh, wait! I had to say something. You shouldn't be talking to me. Why don't they see you? Wait, you knew? Yeah, I had a feeling, but it's okay. I'm used to it. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't worry. But I didn't want to ignore you. I wanted to know more about you. Really? Usually people want nothing to do with me. Well, that's only because they know nothing about you. I guess. I'm always studying, so I don't really have time to talk to my classmates, though. But that's not what I mean. Just don't worry about me, okay? No. Huh? Uh, I don't know how to say this, but... I've been thinking a lot about you, and... I tried to tell him how I feel, but I couldn't find the right words. But then... Same here. Huh? The kids in our class, they all make fun of me. But honestly, I don't care. I never did. But when you gave me back the book, it made me sad. I really enjoyed spending time with you, so... I... Moria, I'm so sorry. Let's be friends again. Yeah, of course. Shortly after, we started dating. Nobody knew about it, though. After graduation... Moria got into med school. 
I got into a university with a good pharmacy program. And we no longer had to worry about our classmates talking behind our backs. And we no longer had to worry about our classmates talking behind our backs. Oh, it was such a relief. I wanted to go on lots of dates with him, but... Sorry, I'm really busy. Uh, he was always busy with schoolwork. Oh, I really missed him, but I tried not to show it. Plus, I had a lot of work to do myself, so I guess there's no need to rush anything. And hopefully, I haven't told him yet, but someday. What did you think of today's episode? Please come back tomorrow for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.